Okay, um, <clears throat> welcome everyone. We're going to um, start the meeting here on October 14th, 2024, the um, Rochester Select Board. And we're going to start with the prior meeting minutes from September 23rd, which I read through and looked like they were correct. Any changes that you guys had? I didn't see any. I didn't either. Yeah, so I'd move to approve those. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> And um, the first item on the agenda is a um, pretty significant um, water and bill, um, water and sewer bill from the uh, treasurer of the North Shore Ski Club. And then Terry was saying there, I guess their hot water heater burst. And yeah. the, um, the. I don't know the particulars, but I know something was wrong with hot water. Yeah, but the, the the good part about this is that it didn't go into the sewer system, so it didn't um, right. stress that that he's system. On. What, like a hundred thousand gallons? Yeah. I think he's on. Yeah. Yeah, for winter. Just time. about a hundred thousand gallons. Yeah. 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 So um, used a little water. Used a little water. Yeah, it should be very clean over there in the club. So <laughs> we're presuming <laughs> we're presuming that you'd like to um, have this bill adjusted um, in in light of that. It was not an intentional use of that water. Yeah, in the past, I think between that July first and, uh, and September thirtieth time frame, we used we average between five to six thousand units on average. Mm -hmm. um, that's been our. I looked at the last three years prior. Uh, to, to this current bill, um, and we've been that between that five and six thousand range on a pretty consistent basis over the summertime. Yep, yeah. um, I, I have no problem with um, with adjusting this bill to their average average usage. What do you guys say? No. 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 No or no problem. I have no, no problem. <laughs> no problem. All right. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the installation of some new technology would probably help it in the future for both yeah. of us. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're with that. Th thank God for CB Oil. They, 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 as always, they're, they're awesome in uh, helping us out, and uh, we, we are in the process of uh, probably installing some form of a water flow uh, device uh, if the water is flowing more more than it's supposed to be. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Either that, or you could put a valve in just when you aren't there, and just get them mm -hmm. to shut it off. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Problem, yeah the problem with the house, the house was, yeah, the house was vacant for three weeks, so the water ran basically for three straight weeks until someone actually went to the house to utilize the house. Yeah. Uh, and that's the reason why we realized that the water heater had burst. Well, at least it was only three weeks and not three months. You could have had a mold problem. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Mm. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> thanks for um, bringing it to our attention, and thanks for coming to the meeting on Zoom. Yeah, we'll take care of it. Send, send a new bill. Yeah. I have someone. So I guess like an adjusted bill, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I have awesome. someone named Steve that just signed in. Can you identify who you really are, Steve? Yeah. Sorry about that, Steve Cummins. Cummins. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. No, thank you, Ray. Have a great night. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And that brings us um, to the next item on the, on the agenda with Alexander. Is that you? Yep. That's me. Yep. Cool. Uh, so my name is Alexander Wing, and my wife, Shannon, is joining us from Zoom. She wasn't able to be here. Okay. Uh, and this is about the Jones Mountain Road Class 4 reclassification. We do. Um, um, there's no reclassification. We didn't reclassify it. Yeah. We just took the Pennant Road status out of it. Okay. Well, this is part of that, too. Um, and the first thing is that uh, we think that there's a little bit of conflict of interest with Select Women Harvey on this, in that uh, you're a realtor and that you know that the you informed my wife in a phone call on the 23rd of September that the Shermans were interested in uh, selling their property. And if the road, without a pen road, there's some issues there with them selling it. And also if the road is as long as you guys are claiming it is, of 1.07 miles long, then it has frontage and it changes the value of the property. I don't think everyone would agree. And as a realtor, we just 
she also sold this art property and has sold that property before. And the Sherman Trust is seems similar to other properties that you've listed. And we thought that it would be appropriate for you to rescind your vote on that and opinions and abstain from future ones no re problem. regarding this matter. No problem. If it's a sensitive issue for you, no problem at all. I'm not representing any anybody in that area now. Right, right. I understand, yeah. Just that, um, you know, you never know who they're going to hire. And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, sweet. So, let's see if I can get this to project up here. A little too big. Oh, How about on the chalkboard? Uh, whiteboard? The, the, we don't have a whiteboard, no. and that chalkboard might be worse because it's darker. Um, can you turn out a light there? Good. Or we can get this there, of course, and just like that. I didn't realize that there was going to be a side show, so I wasn't. Yeah, I just figured it would be easier for everyone just to be on the same page with. Can you share through the Zoom? Yeah, I can, I can clear that up, no problem. No problem. Is that okay? How is that? Can we see that now? Yeah. Yep, that's pretty good. Pretty I, good. We'll take pretty good. Yep, I can um I can see it, but I'm not sure to what extent that applies to the, the um the well, Pent Road. Because um, we're not. Um, we didn't reclassify it. Yeah. It's been classified to class four forever. Right. And the removal of the pen road status, it, it falls under this one. It's not, maybe it's not exactly the 709. I apologize for that. So we weren't notified that you guys were going to. Um, vote on that. We had no idea, and seeing as how we own real property adjacent to and under it, uh, it seems that we should have been notified so we could voice our opinion. And this one is the shows that we need 30 days notice as well. It's not a reclassification, so it's not required. So we talked with our lawyer about it, and he told us that the Pent Road status is just a, a, a job that's done through the select board. Yeah. It, and, th and that's all. It's not having to be warned or anything else. It's not a reclassification of the road. The pent road status was stuck in there. We weren't sure when it was put in. And because it's just uh, uh, the pent road is just a thing to keep cattle in. It's like if there was a farm there. And that was the only reason why the pent road was ever established in the first place. It's always been a class four road and it hasn't changed. And it's still a class four road. Uh, and so you don't think there's a need for a pent road in there when it is just such a short length? Nope. It's the only pent road we had in the, t in the town. And because there was an issue with other landowners, that we decided to eliminate the pent road status. So Same that it, it's a public right of way. It's always been a public right of way. And it still is a public right of way. Class four, I understood. Yep. Uh, so we'll, we'll petition for that to go back. Let's try this next one. Um, so you guys sent a letter to us that we just got that says that um, the Jones Mountain Road is 1.07 miles long and yep. through some research in the 40s that you know that you saw in select board minutes that it was reclassified or the length was thrown up to a different number. Um, this map is the official road map from Rochester, 1931, and it's a little difficult to see because it's not quite, they're not quite noticed, but this one right here, you can see my mouse, I can't see my mouse. No, I can't see your mouse. All right, so on the lower right side of this block, we have um, 73 that comes up. I should just come over. See, it's, it's 0.5 miles long. I have nothing to point at it with. I'm like trying you to find it, but Frank, I can't find it. Frank, can you put your finger right there? Yeah, uh, I don't know where he was saying, Frank. Right there? Down. 
Yep, that one. Right here. So that's that's Jones Mountain Road. This is from 1931. It's actually kind of funny. It was uh, it was measured by W. H. Severy Selectman. Maybe is that like your <laughs> grandfather or son? Uh, what great grandfather? That's what? awesome. Uh, so he was both a selectman back then. Like you see. Yep. And uh, also drew this map. And he was a selectman, so he should have been familiar with the lengths of maps, you know. And he didn't see an issue with that being 0.5 miles long. That's the longest one of any map that we found is 0.5 miles. This one, again, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's in the same location, uh, right above that red line. It's it's 0.5, and then there's a little notation on it that says 0.15. That's the unmaintained, unproved section of Jones Mountain Road. And the same that is listed on today's maps that we'll get to. So go to the next one. This is 1945. You guys said it was thrown up in the 40s. This one, I want to include it because there's some additional information about lengths on it. Um, and the lower left on that same spot, it shows, and I also have some printouts if you guys would like to see those, uh, that show, show exactly what it is. And it's 0.44 on this one, 1945, and then 47, it's 0.4 miles long, and then there's still the highlighted red that, um, and you guys have these maps available to you as well, so if you want to go back and look at them again, you certainly can and zoom them up. You might be able to zoom in on this. Oh, okay, 0.4 miles long, and it shows the second portion that is not as unmaintained, unapproved. We go to the next one, 1949. Again, the same 0.44 miles. Now, 4, 0.44 is what it's been ever since. 0.44 miles, and then the red line indicating that it's unmaintained, unimproved. So, every map that we have published in the 40s shows that this road's been 0.44 miles long unmaintained, unimproved. If the select board had voted on that at the time, you would think that they would update the map. They would know that there's an, there's an error and omission there, which is something that, uh, Frank, you sent me in a letter at some point that sometimes maps have errors and omissions. Right. Right, which they do. <coughs> they do. But in the 40s, they, if they voted on this, you would think that they would know to correct the map right here. It, it seemed that would be a very big omission. Um, have you guys seen those minutes? Because we couldn't find them either. The, the only um, thing that I ever found was the discontinuation of the bingo piece, down through the bingo from the... the uh, and you've seen that? Yes. Could you uh, provide that to us? It's in the office and under the ancient roads in the files. There, and I can show that. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can come up with that. That'd be great. I'll, I'll be here all week if whenever you have time. Yeah. Yep. Is there a, a day that. that works well for you? Um, let's see. Not tomorrow. Uh, probably not until let's. I think I have an appointment on Wednesday or Thursday. Do you have a a number I can get in touch with you? Uh, well, I don't have service at my camp, um, so I can check them. Um, okay. Uh, I can get hold of. Uh, I can leave word here when I can do it. I gotta look at my calendar at home. I don't know. I got a couple appointments this week and I don't know exactly when they are. Okay, um, maybe I'll give you a call tomorrow? Yep, that's fine. What's what's your phone number? 802-353-5125. 353-5125. Yep, I'll be I'll around all call day you tomorrow. Tuesday evening. I won't have any transportation tomorrow, but I will be around. That's quite all right, we can just uh, coordinate Yep. For when to meet yep. up later. Sounds good. Sounds good. And we can compare information and what the poor service has done and all sure. that. And that would be good. Sure, that would be, that would be cool. Um, so if we keep going on this, 1964, same thing. Every map says the same thing. I didn't bother uh, printing them all out because there's like 35 of them. This is a 2002 map. Same thing. And then here is Act 178 from 2006, uh, part of Title 19. And it states that all class, 
do the highlighted points. Uh, subsection 305C, all class 1, 2, 3, and 4 town highways and trails shall appear on town, town highway maps by July 1st, 2015. Mm -hmm. The second one, because towns do not receive any state aid for class 4 town highways or for legal trails, the general highway maps for many towns did not include all class 4 town highways and legal trails claimed by the town. Act 178 of 2006 added the requirement to map all class town all class four town highways and legal trails by July 1st, 2015. So at that point, even if there was an omission, they gave you guys nine years to yep. to find these errors. And I think that was the, the information of the maps that um, Frank was using to determine the length of it. That was after the ancient roads. Right. Um, yeah. And did you apply? No, we haven't changed that. We haven't At this changed point. that. So, uh, anything that's that's on there on the published 2015 map yes. and beyond, mm -hmm. and we have uh, some case laws that we can show you. I know this isn't court, this is a select board yep. meeting, yep. so we're trying to stick to legislation mm -hmm. that's just very clearly written. Um, but if we go to the 2015 map, it is very clearly noted that is 0 0.44 miles long and unmaintained, unimproved past Henry's house. And again, every map in 2024 today shows the exact same thing. So uh, the point of this is that there's no map and no evidence anywhere, and the burden is on the movements, burden of proofs on the movements to show that there's a difference from what's published and of record and uh, what they want to say it is. So we have no obligation to prove that it's not, but you guys do if you'd like to extend it to 1.7 miles long. 1.07. 1.07 miles long. And .44 miles, I've clocked it. I haven't used the little wheelie tape, but .44 miles long ends about 50 feet inside our gate. 50 feet is not a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's it's a terrible thing to have because people find it on their GPS or they want to come up. So is there there's a no sign is like there a deeded right away to the there's other no right other away. property there's beyond? There's no deeded right away on my my deed. So it's you're not really so that would make that a landlocked property, which would would suggest that there was still a road that went to them. There. So yeah. another thing that Frank had also said is that the Kinsman Road. You guys also found that in the 40s that that was not thrown up. And if that is your class four town road, then that abuts that property as well. Mm -hmm. That would be access. And that abuts you too. That does not abut us. It doesn't abut you? Nope. Right there on the edge, it doesn't? It's right on the corner, but none of the markings from the Forest Service or our um, surveyors has never Sherman, placed it on it. Has Sherman ever surveyed his lot to know where his lot is? No, lot's there? I spoke I with. I spoke with him about that. I spoke uh, with Reuben Sherman uh, in 2015 or 16 when we bought the yeah. parcel at 425 from Patty, yeah. and he offered to sell it to us um, for a, quite a bit of money, and we countered. He didn't like the counter, uh, but he informed me at that time that. He had never been on this property, despite living <laughs> in Bur or right in, um, he lives in Montpelier. In Montpelier, he's mm -hmm. never been there. Mm -hmm. He thinks that his brother was there in the 50s when he was a kid, but he's not sure about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's never even been here. <laughs> yeah. 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 I asked him the same question. When was the last the time, last time yeah. that you <laughs> were here? That's what I asked him. Right. He said, oh, 50 years ago. Right. So there's... And I, and I said, well, you better get it surveyed so you know exactly where your lines are. There's also um, various things, and we can get into the next meeting if you guys want, uh, about the discontinuous of use. You know, if it hasn't been used for this for the last 10 years, it steps down. The maintenance for the last 30 years, it has not been maintained by anybody but us for that long. The gate's been up since the early 90s, or been 90s, according to Henry. That's 30 years. Yeah, it was, it was located right at the end of Henry's era on the Forest Service, I believe, when originally. Uh, and in. some of the maps here, it shows a gate at the line from Henry's to the forest right. line. Yeah, well, Henry's lot is pretty small anyway, and it, he doesn't own much 
No, and, there, and he doesn't have a problem if even, there is a gate there. Even no, nobody did have a problem with it until the Shermans wanted to sell the property. Hey, come on. So, Go. right, and you know, um, they when they asked, I sent them a key to the gate on multiple occasions and a key to a realtor that ended up declining to list it. You know, so we're not. It's not that we were trying to mm -hmm. stop them from crossing our land or anybody else. There's uh, the Fawcett Basin Trail. I've been on Bruce's walks before. It's mm -hmm. they're great. You know, we always say right. hi to them. We let people through. There's no issue whatsoever, but keeping the road, even at the .44 with the unmaintained, unimproved, just doesn't make sense. I've had to pull people out, and that's when I'm there. Since my old man died fighting that brush fire a couple years ago up there, there's been nobody there to help people that get stuck when they come in, you know? And without that, even inside the gate, it's extremely muddy. People get stuck right there when they turn around. They see mm -hmm. that there's a, a space there. They turn around. I hear the wheels spinning. I say, what's this? I got to go down there. Yeah. You know, the other locals, you know, plowing the road that have been here forever have gotten stuck there. It's not a safe road for, for public to be going down beyond the town-maintained Class 4 road and turn around at Henry's. So at a very minimum, if, if it wasn't... Uh, if the town doesn't think it's good to discontinue that last little section, at least within our gate, uh, and that's just something that we'll petition for at another point, we'll absolutely need a sign like there is on Bingo that says, you know, no turnaround, limited turnaround, mm -hmm. not maintain, travel at your own risk. Because I'm, I'm, I don't like having people come on the property, get stuck. If we're not there, there's snow on the ground, it's cold, there's no service up there. It's an unsafe situation for the public. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. Some things that we'll let you guys consider. Okay. Let's get on with it. All right. Good presentation. Yep. Pat. Yep. So we'll be in touch with you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll give you a call tomorrow. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll meet up and we'll go look at some out. records sometime this week. Yep. And if not, I can make myself available at an... Another Not any time. other time. Yep. Yeah, no problem. You know. This week would be really ideal though because this is Because you're here. Yeah. I'm here and it's it's we're both my wife and I are both nervous, just people coming yeah. on yeah. right leaving the that little mini section of road. Mm -hmm. You know, that it's not it's yeah. not ideal. I'm, I'm sure you guys would yeah. understand I'm something yeah. doing it on your property. It does yeah. not it doesn't work. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so, how does that work now? Do you guys have to uh, vote to remove the pen status? If we, we well, already, uh, we already did vote to remove the pen status. If, uh, if but what you're what you're presenting is there was no um, road to have a pen status on. There's no road. Anyway. So I guess we'll have to dig, investigate that more dig further deeper, and yeah, see. You know, you know um, there is a uh, yep. research thing on the mileage of Jones Mountain Road that's been there for a while that the Forest Service did that this information came from, so I'll have mm -hmm. to review yep. that. We've been in contact with the Forest Service as well, and, and they've been up, and we've met with them and walked the property, and yep. uh, all of their maps and, and data and mileage corresponds with what I've just presented here. Yep. And they are also aware of our gate, and that is locked. So where did this come from? This came from the Forest Service. This came from the Forest Service, which says different. Yeah. yeah. That was done through Bruce Swelling and yeah. Asian Roads. Yeah, and Asian Roads. So. Would you read it? Um, that's Would saying to the it? end of Town Road is well, 1.07. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, would you? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's public knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go. So, right. And just to be clear here, the gate can remain uh, uh, in place and locked until this is resolved, right? <coughs> not locked. Oh. Not locked. But no, not you guys locked. aren't going to have someone go up there and move our gate. No, we should Which figure this out we'll before figure that it action out, is taken. You, yeah. you shouldn't lock the gate yeah. at this time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, by, and by, that's by. what I informed you before is... is 
it was okay to leave the gate there, but you kept locking it. So this is just this is just what they <coughs> came up with, and it's just a copy of their findings on the end. And we'll go through the paperwork of that where I got that. Yeah, that would be. Yes, yeah, some more. This is just about, a, you know, we don't have time around. to get into that. I, I understand. Lots of yeah. stuff yeah. on your agenda. Well, I yeah. thank you guys very much for your yeah. time yeah. Yeah. and yeah. inspiration. <coughs> and, uh, cool. Much. We'll figure it yeah. out. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. All right. You okay? Yeah. All right. Just try. <laughs> All right, um, next on the agenda, we've got a second class liquor license for Sugar Mama's LLC that she formerly knows and known as Sandy's Books and Bakery. So she's been getting it together and, and making it happen. So I uh, move to approve. I second that. In favor? All right. All right. All right. And also another application for. Um, Tobacco substitute endorsement for the um, Cal Alsa markets, the old Skip Mart. Um, what does that mean, a tobacco substitute? Vaping. Vaping? Like vaping? I think it's a vape. Vaping, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a separate license than the tobacco thing? I believe so. Yeah, they're getting more formal about that. Part. So can I move to approve that? I second. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. And um, we have the treasurer's report from August. And uh, once again, thank you for putting that together. You ready for the next batch of tax <laughs> yeah. payments to come in? A lot of them have, Julie pointed it out to me today, a lot of them have already come in. So. Yeah, yeah. Yep, they're coming in. Good, so I'd move to approve this report. Okay. Nice All in favor? All right. All right. Okay. All right. Um, got a quote for a new postage meter machine lease um, so we found it's um, more cost effective to lease them than to buy something that's going to go out of date and and um, so we're looking at a 63 month lease for 95 a month that's correct the <clears throat> um, and there the model that we have right now um, <clears throat> is not is no longer going to be used because I think the new models now will tell you the rate increases are coming As they go. <clears throat> and how much the rate increases are. So they're asking anyone that's leasing right now to upgrade to the new. And I think the payments ended up, Kristen it's did. $6 <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's six more? Yeah, we were paying $90.62 a yep. month. Yep. So, so and if we had and they have like we we have a real short period of time to get it approved so that's yep. why they yep. yeah they kind of don't really give you much choice not choice. much of an option you don't want to lick stamps no <laughs> not really <laughs> not, uh, no no okay um I move to uh, um to um approve that lease second that all in favor all right uh, okay um okay and now we come to uh, a change in um, pay rates. Um, we're looking at um, effective, um, do we have this effective October 1st, or is this uh, we have to approve it before it can become effective? I think we, have, we ran it to October 1st. Yep, yep, so we're looking at um, um, Bringing um, Cody Bowen for um, twenty three sixteen an hour plus a four thousand dollars for the year for his on call status, and um, John Champion for to twenty eight sixty five an hour and Terry Severy to thirty sixty two an hour, <clears throat> and um, we've been going back and forth had some some discussion about this, but I think that we, um, we value our employees and need to keep them happy. So I move to approve these increases. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
All right, then we have a better roads fiscal year 25 category A road erosion inventory grant agreement. Oh, I did a skip over investment. Oh, I see that was kind of scratched out. Okay, we can go to the um, um, yeah, investment um, addendum to the in uh, for the grant agreement. And this is, no, that's, um, okay, so I don't have any pay. Oh, there it is. That's because we got out of line here. I'm not. <clears throat> so we received um, an email from <clears throat> Nathan asking us um, in our current policy, it doesn't allow for the financial advisor, the professional financial advisor to make changes or corrections to the trustees of public funds. So he asked that we make an adjustment to that policy to include that. I kind of threw something in there. I was waiting for him to respond, not realizing today's holiday. Yeah. <clears throat> so he may have he may have something different in mind as far as I sent him this just to see if he would approve it. Mm -hmm. But um, he didn't get back to you yet. He, he hadn't gotten back. Yeah. But hmm? we can. I think it'd be best. Yeah, probably. yeah. Instead of signing something this month, <clears throat> not yeah. Finalized. Okay. All right. That's why you skipped over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind right. Of well, plus it was behind the next one. All right. So um, back to the um, better back roads fiscal year twenty five category A road erosion inventory grant. Agreement. I'd move to um, uh, apply for this, um, or actually agree to this grant. Okay. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> and recommendations for the town health officer position, which expires at the end of November. Um, there's, um, so I sent an email to John, and I hadn't heard back from him hadn't either. Heard back from him. That was last week. But. Yeah, yeah. Um, he is held pretty steady in that position, so I think that we'd probably want to. Can I just ask a question? Yeah. In the book, it says 1031, which would have come from the health department. Hmm. I thought that seemed like it was awful soon. Let's table that but one, too, 1031 baby. forever? Yep. I just received that in the mail, so I just got yeah, that. we'll have to look. But this is right. from the state of Vermont saying it expires on 11 30, 2024. Well, I so. think that's the one you have to go with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, either way, we should um, reach out to, to him and see if he's still. Right. We still have one more meeting before yes. the end of October. Right. So, so and we don't have to wait till the end of November to do it. Either. I'll table it now, but that's it Yep. Next yep. All right. So, um, But I think John's actually been done. And he's pretty responsive and does a good job. Hope that he'd want to continue to do that. Okay. And uh, review and accept the um, Rochester High School repurposing um, project for <coughs> architectural and engineering design services. So there's a request for proposals. Um, Vic, you have an input on this one? Yeah, this, uh, <clears throat> this is uh, RFP to be available for the wooden architect who did on the project. It can be the town votes to go forward. Um, and if it's a housing vote in November, mm -hmm. and, and it's like 43 to go ahead and then uh, 
the town to be in a position to select an architect in November, so at least uh, mid November, I think. Dick Robson's been working on this as a technical um, assistant, kind of like what Cricket does in engineering mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. um, and been working with Julie in terms of the, the actual bidding process and Sarah Ray uh, as well. So uh, the three of them have been working to put this process together so that if it's a go, then uh, we have something to go with. Yeah. yeah. And, and not delay. And, and, and then if that all goes forward, then we'd be in an optimal position to apply for a million dollar grant uh, next year. Uh, for, uh, the deadline is April for, admit, for submission and June for decision on the opening. So that's why we're trying to move this along as quickly as possible. Recognize it may or may not go. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we're just trying to be prepared. So is this, this a draft? Because it's saying the deadline is October 31st, 2024, but the vote is and um, after that. Yeah, so um, the, the idea is to get proposals in as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. As soon as the select board, if the select board decides to approve this RFP, mm -hmm. it would go out tomorrow and uh, get uh, proposals back uh, so that they could be opened by the end of the month. Yeah. Right? Right. I put it, yep, I put it on the I agenda. I thought it's a two-tiered vote. I thought if you vote to buy the school, it's not necessarily a vote to go forward with the project. Right. Is that correct? That's my understanding. Y yeah, that's my it's understanding too. Yeah. So. Right. Well, this would be so, giving this, but this would be laying the groundwork for, you know, because if we, um, obviously, if we town does vote to buy it, what else are we going to do with it? Tear it down. Yeah. You know, well, tear down two thirds well, of it. Get rid of part of it. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ, we can't afford the damn thing as it is. Yeah. You know, and I mean, you can't budget on speculation, and that's what they're doing. You know, you 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 say, well, you're going to gain so much money, but you don't know that. Nobody knows that. So well, this I, would be the this would be the tool. This would be the the tool to be a applying for that money though. Yeah. Yeah. I know I know you're not I'm you're not, not excited I'm not about a favor it. Yeah. at all. Yeah. How is it stated? Is is it in the year of, uh, about the vote? I'm kind of wasting those guys' time to bid on something that might not happen. Uh, right. A lot of people might not bid on it because of that. So you're counting out people that might might be a good bidder. That's that's their choice. Yeah. No, so, so is um, so what would be the advantage of? I know it's um, is there a, a, a timing deadline that would you know require that immediate action once that vote happens, or was it would it be detrimental to wait till after the vote happens to put out these requests? You know, the idea again is to try to put the town in the position, the best position possible, to apply for a million dollar grant in April. Mm -hmm. And because there would be a lot of architectural work that has to be done to apply to make that application and be competitive. So the, the more delay, the less likely to have as competitive a proposal. That's the best way I can describe it. Right. Do you, um, whereas, do you think we'd have more likely, I mean, that's the question is how much energy will people put into, I guess if they're going to put a bid in, I know that's a good point, though. If they they're bidding on something that's not uh, a given project yet, right. that that we might get more um, more proposals once it's it's known that the town is is well, got control over. It more serious. They might take it more seriously. Uh -huh. I know what. I agree. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it'd be good to have this ready to go out in the event of that positive vote. But I think that sending it out now is is pushing it. Um, I mean, we're we're just talking, you know, um, what two three weeks. Yeah. Yes, yeah. on this end, but yeah. the concern is on the back end, getting to an April deadline for a grant submittal mm -hmm. um, and being less. It's it's taking more risk that the application will be. Not as competitive, if you will. Yeah. I don't see what we another couple weeks. I mean, the count's going to be out in November. 
Yeah, we would be at our meeting November 11th. Well, I would. Um, so you'd have it. You'd have knowledge of whether or not they're even <coughs> going to purchase the school by then. I think you'd at least want to wait till then. I, I would. I would recommend we could send out the request for proposals, but I would extend the deadline to um, after the vote instead of four days before the vote. Right, and that you way, know. if the vote is no, you can quickly put an email out. Yeah to say never mind. But if we send out the proposals now, at least people can be, they can be start working on it and they, could, they can be cogitating on it. But to have the deadline be before the school vote, I think is, is um, and, and then also I think it makes it a little more realistic to them. They don't, they, I mean, how? Um, yeah, I understand. What, so what date would you prefer then, if not on the? Number six? I mean, it doesn't, well, doesn't have to involve us, does it? No, but I would say, like, maybe, um, you know, um, you're issuing it um, October 15th. Um, tomorrow, I would say November 15th, yeah. you know. It's pretty typical anyway yeah. for such a complicated project. Yeah. Well, I, I think if the vote is yes, then it all goes through the select board anyway. Right, well, we still happens, have the decisions, goes but the, yeah, goes through the yeah. select board. But this not way, up to anybody gives them a little. Um, I think it's more realistic to have them offering a proposal for something that is in our hands than, than not. <coughs> yeah. So I'd, I'd move to uh, approve this, but uh, by changing the deadline to November fifteenth instead of October thirty-first. I second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, nobody here from the library today? Um, um, nope. The highway, I see that sand pile is looking pretty complete. Our bills show it too. Bills show yeah, it too. bills show it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, like I said, someone uh, snowing on top of Middlebury Gap already, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So, Terry's got um, anything other than that, um, Justin, that that flooded, um, hopefully it was their basement that the hot water heater was in. Yeah, yeah they haven't got anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um, Jeff on the line? No, he is not. No, no. You notice the uh, windows are here. Ah, okay. Cool. The inserts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, just in time because it's starting to get cold. Yeah. Things on the windows to yeah, the think. spacers or something. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Kristen, any <laughs> grant updates? Um, we discussed the better roads category A, and the only other thing is we received back our um, grant and aid reimbursement for the West Hill. Um, project that we did this summer um so we were fully reimbursed for the eighteen thousand. Cool. um so it's um vic do you have any more updates on the um valley hub inc rochester high school <laughs> uh we've um uh, been trying to <laughs> Well, the history of the septic system over the school. Yeah. The documentation of when was the last time it was inspected and repair was done. So I've been I work with Lindy Stetson and Fund. Uh, I'm not saying I haven't, haven't learned anything yet. Yep. But uh, um, yeah, if that comes up empty, then I'd like to get some advice about you know, who can do that work. If, again, <laughs> mm -hmm. if this becomes a topic. Right, right. Is that, I don't know if that's something. It had to be an engineer. Exactly, is you'd be better off to talk to Kevin. 
It's right beside the road. He said. <clears throat> hasn't been pumped in quite a long time. Has it? Yeah, I don't remember the last time anybody dug it up. Been in the ground. I go by there a couple times a week. So. And it, it hasn't been used much. For yeah, good thing the school's been closed for a while. Huh? <laughs> uh, I could create a bigger problem. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Your bugs aren't working good. Yeah. No. Right. So the um, is the elementary school piped into that system? No, they have their own. They have their own. Hmm. I have no idea. I I offered twice or three times, and they just blew me off. So I said, Yeah, good enough. Yep. All right. Well, that's um. Because I offered to test them all. We only to check them when we did yeah. spring walk around. All right, then uh, the only a couple of things. Uh, so we have the next and final public information session, uh, Tuesday, October 29th at 7 p.m. Um, and uh, other things depend on how it is. Yeah, we'll see. Yep, moving forward. All right. Um, thank you. Sure. Yep. Any. Um, Old business um, hanging out there? Nancy? I would just like you to consider one thing. We had a, an issue this past week with the animal control officers, and Carol, helping Jeff, went to, to try to deal with a feral cat. Hmm. And she got badly mauled by the cat. Really? Well. Ended up at the clinic. The clinic did report it to the hospital. And most likely the hospital reported it to the uh, health department. But my point being, where she goes to help him, I would like you to consider making her a co-animal control officer for her protection. And I guess the town too. I thought you were going to talk about the raccoon that was sleeping in the store dumpster. <laughs> Just waiting for the next meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you think it backed away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, that's a good idea, though. Yeah. Would that be something um, I think should happen sooner than the next town meeting, when we usually appoint all that stuff? We've got, we've got several months before we have a town meeting. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's, she would be interested in it. Yeah. I mean, she got badly mauled yeah. by this cat. And what does the town cover? Well, she's had she had to have a shot at the right. clinic. I know. Yeah. That, so we would cover that. Like, I'm just trying to understand. I don't know. I guess I just have two questions. Like, we didn't ask her to do it. No, we didn't. Mm. I'm just I'm looking about the future. Yeah. Well, that, don't we don't we have a, a second on the? Not on animal. No. Pet wrangler. No. Yeah. No, we no. just got one wrangler. We don't. <laughs> No second on the pet ranch. I try to get people to license their dogs, but they don't listen. So I know. Yeah. I know. You know, Jeff has a job. She goes and she tries to help him. And anyway, this time. So reading signs. Yeah. No way, right? Read right. Signs. I think that's a good idea, and she, she'd be into it. So, I'd, yep. So it'd be a paid position. I think she's. We would. I don't think we'd make that decision right now. Uh, she would be the co-person. So if she did go off on a, on a call, she at least would at least have has authority some authority. Yeah, it. yeah. So I guess let's put that on the agenda for um, next meeting, and we can research what what would be involved with that and, and verify. I, I believe you that she's interested, but it would be good to talk to her first and yeah, see how she's doing at least. Yeah. She, she's, she would be interested because yeah. she loves animals. Yeah, yeah. 
Cool. Buy her some leather gloves. She doesn't like cats as much. No. She doesn't <laughs> like those cats. Not a lot no. of cats like to be grabbed by the tail. <laughs> Is that what no. she did? <laughs> Is that what she did? Oh, oh, yeah. So no, you got to get them by the back of the neck. <laughs> yeah. She was mad with a feral cat by the tail. Where was it? Mm-hmm. Where was it? Buddy and Dave Chase. Huh. Right. It's acting on. Okay. Um, do we have any um, public comment other than what's in the room or on Zoom? Um, let me do this. Lori, Lori Church does. I believe you should be able to go ahead and speak. Like red Mar- lights on. Oh. Martha, can you say something? The, red, the owl is the, red here. Yeah, it's making. Hold on, Lori. So now I need to. No wonder it's been such a quiet meeting. Oh, now it's red again. Select board, hear me? There we go. Yeah, now. all right. We're it's having, not coming to the owl, though. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, Lori, Lori, you're going to speak. Oh, we could hear you. Well, I didn't mute her. Ask to unmute. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Had some noise going on there. Hang on, she like muted herself again. So like the speaker is yeah. black. Microphone, same system as microphone. Not gonna hurt anything. You know how to get back there. Oh, that just unreaded. Yeah, it did unread that. Now let's unmute Lori and see if we can hear. Hello. Let's try this again. I can the I... town hear me? Yes. Can you hear us? Well, again, Lori, no, I can we're hear muted. I don't think they can, or they can't, can't seem to hear me either. <laughs> like, keep getting the. Oh, no, no. You have to, to unmute. I unmute. Yeah. <laughs> Just the two of us talking. I guess. I'm sorry. How are we doing? Oh, who have we got now? Because okay. Lori and I could hear each other. You've got the town now. Oh, very ready. good. Okay, Lori, go ahead. Sorry. Should I take that personally? Because I was I'm starting to cry a little bit. <laughs> no. We're sorry. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. So I was just informed tonight by the sele- uh, by the uh, planning commission that they are planning on moving forward with the October fourth informational meeting about the proposed cell tower. October fourth. Twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Yeah. Sorry. So we wanted to find out if the select board was involved in that process and going to be involved in the, the meeting and how the communication will be disseminated. 
we hadn't been involved in that. I think that was with the, the planning board. Okay. The planning board put that I won't be there. put that together. I mm -hmm. won't be able to be there. Mm -hmm. Um, I won't be there either. It is taking place here at the town office. Mm -mm. No? No, it's at, no. The, it's at the high school. It's at the oh, school. it is at, um, at the high school. school. At the high school. Mary Fertini mm -hmm. came in the office the other day and told us okay. um, that it would be done there. And she asked about bringing the laptop and the owl, so I assume that it's going to be Zoom as mm -hmm. well. They'll be running that meeting. Yep. She asked. For, um, six to eight. Something like that, yeah. Not to interrupt. So I would think that we could, um, the usual suspects that ask to be emailed about the select board meetings, we could send out a, a email blast for that, and then it should be, um, I don't know who would post it on Front Porch Forum, but I'm sure that, that would get on there. Lori, are you still with us? Unmute yourself. There you go. I, I, my mute button has not been the issue. <laughs> We've been straining to listen to what you guys are trying to say. Sometimes you've been muting in and out. So I, I'm not sure if I or anybody else was hearing that information. So the meeting is going to take place October 24th at the high school auditorium six to eight. And from six to eight o'clock we will. expect yes. that it will be my, set up to be on zoom okay my question also included how much was the select board involved in this meeting we were and not will be involved in this meeting i think this meeting uh is hosted by the planning board and we may attend if we so choose, but not officially. Correct? Yeah. It's just strictly informational, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is an informational meeting for the planning board. In the town. Yeah. In the town. In the town's work. Okay. Should the select board consider it an informational meeting for the select board, since it does violate the town plan and the regional plan? I guess we could take that under consideration. Okay, thank you. Yep, I, I won't be able to make that meeting though. So. I won't be there either. Yeah. But, uh, I will. Okay, Pat, you can represent, but I can. um, can't make any decisions though, so, but you can represent. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have right. one of <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Lori, did you, um, did you come let her know, I don't know if she heard what we said, that we would um, send out an email blast to the usual people that ask to be notified? And um, um, I would assume someone should post it on Front Porch Forum. I, since the planning board is um, the one holding the meeting, I would, I would, yeah, I would expect they would do that. I'm not sure if she can hear me from there or not. I'm straining to hear, but I got all that. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, yes, Vic? We're done with that topic. I just want to go back to the September. I'm Can't sorry. hear. Um, Our owl's not working. The owl's, yeah. yeah. Owl, the owl is through the coop tonight, so I'll try to turn Here, it in a big way yeah. and maybe yeah. step up. Yeah. Uh, I just I'm sorry, I just couldn't hear what Dylan was saying or anything. Okay. Uh, Vic is speaking, and he's going to start over for you right now. Okay. Uh, I just want to clarify the October 29 information meeting about the high school. That was the date that the select board had set up. He yep. posting that. I just want to confirm that. It's Select board's going to host that, set it up, have the owl, so it's available in the usual ways. Yep. Right. Okay. I'm not sure Martha was getting that. I, do, I can't even tell who was speaking. It was Vic. That was Vic. Vic. And what did Vic have to say? I apologize, I couldn't hear. <laughs> he said uh, <laughs> he wanted to confirm that the select board is hosting the uh, October 29 high school repurposing project public information meeting 
at 7 p.m. Uh, at the audit in the auditorium. And okay, so the the select board is hosting um, a repurposing information meeting um, on September. Uh, excuse me, October 29th. At what time? Where? 7 p.m. High school repurposing at the auditorium. I'll be sending okay, in the auditorium <clears throat> agendas and stuff. With Zoom. With Zoom. Thank you. All right, this has nothing to do with the cell tower. That's a totally separate thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. Good. <laughs> Anybody else want to speak tonight? Going once. Twice. Okay. I move to adjourn. I second that. All in favor? All right. Okay. Thank you all.